everyone this is my channel tally learning world in today's video we'll discuss about how to record a transaction of gstr1 for b2b invoices to record a transaction for b2b invoices we need to create a party which has comes under registration either regular dealer or composition dealer to record a transaction let me create a party to create a party we have to go to master under create ledger so let me provide the name of the party anil datas so i'll select the group under sundry datas i'll provide the address of the party So once I have provided the address, we have to select the registration type either regular or composition and provide the GSTN number. So once after providing the GSTN number, press Ctrl A and create a sales ledger under sales account and try to enable the option is gst is applicable applicable type of supply goods and no need to specify the tax rate under set all to gst details so i'll just press control a again control a to save the ledger so we have to create some ledgers as well that is central gst tax under duties and taxes type of duty gst central tax and i have set the percentage as zero this is my common ledger and the same way i'll trade create state tax for state gst tax under duties and taxes gst state tax i'll press control a now i'll just record a transaction before i record a transaction i'll create some stock item with the name called books so i'll select here unit of measure under units formal name units upc i'll select units number of decimal places 2 so i wanted to define the tax rate for the stock item i'll just define the books and hsn code as per my default hsn has been given by the department i have specified and selected the calculation type on value taxability taxable as you can see the tax rate screen is appearing i'll specify the tax rate as 18 percent so here there is no CGST by SGST bifurcation. To get this bifurcation, press F12, enable the option, show all GST tax rates. So you can see here the central state has been bifurcated automatically to 99%. To save this screen, press Ctrl A, type of supply, select goods, press Ctrl A. So let's record a transaction of sales. To record a transaction of sales, we'll go to the voucher F8, select the party Anil Detas and sales ledger, select your stock item books, quantity I have selected and I have given the rate as 50. So let me select the central GST tax and state GST tax. As you can see, the GST rate has been calculated automatically. For more details, what is the tax rate has to be calculated and how the tax rate it's been picking, you can just press Ctrl O related report and you can go to the GST tax analysis screen. So you will get a tax analysis screen details to press Alt F5 for the detail view. 
so that you can get a detailed information what is the tax rate has been specified in the voucher and is it calculating according to the tax so uh, you can see this to save this screen I can press ctrl A so once the transaction is got saved go to the report to go to the report by using alt G feature just I am typing GSTR one report so it will take us to the gstr1 report as you guys can see the transaction is coming under b2b invoices the same way we can record a transaction if the party is even interstate also we can record a transaction so let me show the transaction of uh, the party interstate how we have to be accounted so you can see i can i'm going to record a transaction and I'm selecting the tax integrated tax the tax has been calculated the same way we can check the report under GSTR 1 report even that transaction is also will be a part of B2B invoices so the same way we can do the transaction even for composition dealer if the registration type is composition dealer for more videos, subscribe to my channel Tally Learning World and press the bell icon for more updates and new videos. Thank you.